good morning dear students i hope all of you are fit and fine at your place so far we have studied about language and components of language uh, so today the topic of discussion is letters and alphabets it is very important for all of us to know what are letters and alphabets in english language so here we will study today a character representing one or more of the sounds used in speech is called a letter any character written or any symbol is uh, when written individually in english for example here it's written a then b then c and d all these symbols have one particular sound a gives a sound b gives b sound c gives k and d d and so on so all these letters all these characters represent one or more of the sounds so these all characters or symbols are called as letters okay then we have alphabet what is an alphabet an alphabet is a standard set of letters when all these letters which are written here individually they are arranged in a particular order in a fixed order okay they are called as alphabet like here i have written this a b c d e f and then so on and then in the end it's z now raje in english a uh, language we have near about 26 alphabets okay all of these uh, letters are in fixed order b comes after a then c comes after b then d comes after c and so on till z there is a fixed order so to this we call as an alphabet now let's read here the english word alphabet came into middle english from the late latin word alphabetum which in turn originated from the first two greek letters alpha and beta the alphabet word is derived from alphabetum so which in turn originated from the greek letters alpha and beta so alphabet it came from lat latin word alphabetum okay and this originated from greek letters alpha and beta now let's see here kinds of letters on the basis of their use so how many kinds of letters or what are the different kinds of letters uh, depending upon their use we will study about them on the basis of their use letters of english alphabet are of two kinds so here it is english alphabet english alphabet first is basic roman alphabet which we can say are 26 in number then we have international phonetic alphabet these are the two uh, basic uh, we can say kinds and then here this is roman uh, sorry roman numerals okay now here a uh, basic roman alphabet which are 26 in number uh these are further classified into two categories so uh, we already know about these these are vowels and consonants so how many kinds of vowels do we have we have already studied about this we have five vowels uh those are a e i o u right and apart from these vowels the rest of the uh letters in our alphabets are consonants so we have 21 consonants in number okay then international phonetic alphabet which is ipa these are 44 so how these are 44 out of these vowels are 20 and then consonants are 24 okay so we will study about this in detail but first of all let's go through this uh this point to basic latin alphabet the iso international organization for standardization So, Raja, the basic Latin alphabet uh, came into existence uh, by the ISO International Organization. Okay, so this is the uh, International Organization of Standardization. ISO full form is International Organization of Standardization. So, this basic Latin alphabet was set up by. this particular organization now let's read here latin or roman script is based on letters of the classic latin alphabet known as the iso basic latin alphabet it consists of two sets of 26 letters each having an upper case and a lower case form okay. so dear students latin or roman script is based upon the iso basic latin alphabet 
and this consists of two sets of 26 letters okay so two sets which are those two sets uppercase and lowercase form so these two sets of 26 letters each so in these two forms in each case we have 26 letters let's see uppercase or capital letters uppercase means we when we are writing the capital uh, letters of english uh, here you can see this set is given from a to z all these are written in capital form okay so all these are the capital letters capital alphabets we can say let's turn the page now page number 12 okay so here we have lower case or small letters now see small letters small alphabet uh, the set of uh, letters here written in small in lower case we can say okay this is small abc now see here the exact shape of printed letters varies depending upon the typeface commonly referred to as font now the shape of each letter differs from the another okay it is referred to as the font like whenever we are typing something over the phone or in our computers or, or on the laptops you can see we get the option to select the font so it, uh, it we can say it is the shape or formation of these letters okay so the shape of handwritten letters can differ significantly from the standard printed form this we can say as the standard printing form jab bhi hum phone pe ya laptops pe ya computers pe type karte hain to wo ek particular fixed form hoti hai theek hai that is the standard typing form but we can always change the font style or but if we will uh, write with our hand the handwritten uh, alphabet or we can say if it is written uh, in our own uh, handwriting the style would be different it it varies from person to person also we can say we can write it in cursive style also so here the shape of handwritten letters can differ significantly from the standard uh, printed uh, printed form jo standard printed form hai usse wo different hoga usse wo bilkul alag hoga theek hai so especially when written in cursive style here we can say the uppercase sorry we can see here uppercase or capital letters these are written in the cursive form from a to z all these are written in cursive form then here lowercase or small letters these are also written in the cursive form okay now let's see letters broadly denote uh, sorry denote phonemes in the spoken form of the language although there is rarely a consistent exact correspondence between letter and phonemes we have studied in previous chapter phonemes rather than phonetical sounds jo aati hain jaise all the letters in alphabets we get a particular sound from them okay so all the letters we can consider as phonemes okay then we have vowels now uh, which all vowels do we have it's a then we have a e i o u so total we have five vowels in english uh, language english uh, uh, letters we can say alphabets a vowel is a sound pronounced with an open vocal tract now what is a vocal tract beta this is a, a cavity inside all the human beings uh, inside the body of the human beings or animals which helps in producing a particular sound so vocal tract helps us to produce a sound okay now vowel sound is uh, pronounced with an open vocal tract when our vocal tract is open we get the vowel sound now in pronouncing a vowel the tongue does not touch the lips teeth roof of the mouth whenever we are pronouncing any vowel uh, vowel like a e i o u you can examine yourself while pronouncing a when you are speaking a letter is it touching your lips is your tongue sorry is your tongue touch lips no it doesn't you can also check whether your tongue touch teeth when you are speaking a letter no it doesn't and it doesn't touch even the roof of the mouth roof of the mouth okay so there is no build up of air pressure at any point above the glottis now glottis rajit it is also an organ inside our body inside the tract also we can say it's a जो भी हमारी बॉडी में साउंड प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑर्गन है इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट इट कंट्रोल्स द फ्लो ऑफ एयर यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट एपी ग्लॉटिस ग्लॉटिस सो इट इट कंट्रोल्स द एयर फ्लो 
which helps us in speaking okay because of that only we is we are able to speak now there is no build up air pressure at any point above the glottis jab hum vowel bolte hain koi bhi vowel letter pronounce karte hain koi bhi air pressure nahi banta हमारे माउथ के अंदर ठीक है द लेटर्स ए ई आई ओ यू आर कंसिडर्ड एज वॉबल लेटर्स सेंस एक्सेप्ट वेन साइलेंट दे आर दे रिप्रेजेंट वॉल साउंड नाउ इन सम ऑफ दी वर्ड्स दीज लेटर्स आर साइलेंट राइट सो अदरवाइज वेन दे आर इन यूज दे आर नॉट साइलेंट दे रिप्रेजेंट और दे एक्सप्रेस वॉबल साउंड ओके देन वी हैव कॉन्सोनेंट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज लेटर्स दीज फाइव लेटर्स रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल दी लेटर्स और अल्फाबेट्स इन इंग्लिश आर दी कॉन्सोनेंट्स नाउ अ कॉन्सोनेंट इज अ स्पीच साउंड दैट इज आर्टिकुलेटेड विद कंप्लीट और पार्शियल क्लोजर ऑफ दी वोकल ट्रैक जो कॉन्सोनेंट है राजे कॉन्सोनेंट जो साउंड हमें देते हैं हाउ इज दैट साउंड प्रोनाउंस्ड आर्टिकुलेटेड मीन्स प्रोनाउंस्ड और वी कैन से एक्सप्रेस्ड ओके विद कंप्लीट और पार्शियल क्लोजर ऑफ द वोकल ट्रैक नाउ इन केस ऑफ वॉवल साउंड क्या था कि जो वॉवल की साउंड है दैट इज प्रोनाउंस्ड विद एन ओपन वोकल ट्रैक बट जो कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड हैं दोज आर प्रोड्यूस्ड विद द कंप्लीट और पार्शियल क्लोजर इस केस में जो हमारा वोकल ट्रैक है या तो वो पूरी तरह से क्लोज होता है या फिर वो पार्शियली क्लोज होता है ठीक है द रिमेनिंग लेटर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट अदर देन दी लेटर्स ए ई आई ओ यू आर कंसिडर्ड कॉन्सोनेंट लेटर सिंस वेन नॉट साइलेंट दे जनरली रिप्रेजेंट कॉन्सोनेंट्स so in same way like in vowels few of the letters if they are silent they won't produce any consonant sound like if i talk about the word no now see here k is a consonant but we are not saying no here k is silent it will not give us any vowel sound uh, sorry consonant sound here hum hame yahan pe no aa raha k ki sound aayi nahi rahi theek hai तो जब हमें किसी कॉन्सोनेंट की साउंड आएगी तो दैट वुड रिप्रेजेंटिंग द साउंड ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट ओके इन सम ऑफ द केसेस द साउंड्स आर साइलेंट नाउ हाउ एवर डब्ल्यू एंड वाई कॉमनली रिप्रेजेंट वॉवल्स एज वेल एज कॉन्सोनेंट्स नाउ डब्ल्यू एंड वाई आर सच टू लेटर्स राजे व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट बोथ वॉवल्स एज वेल एज कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड सो वी कैन कॉल दैम एज सेमी वॉवल्स ऑल्सो ओके नाउ लेट सी हेयर एट पेज नंबर थर्टीन पॉइंट नंबर थ्री इंटरनेशनल फोनेटिक अल्फाबेट नाउ इंटरनेशनल फोनेटिक अल्फाबेट आई पी ए फुल फॉर्म हिंदी मराठी संस्कृत नेपाली एक्सेट्रा आर ट्रांसपेरेंट लैंग्वेजेस दे आर रिटर्न इन देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट एंड प्रोनाउंसिएशन ऑफ अ वर्ड रिटर्न इन देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट इज फिक्सड ओके एंड इट इज रीड एज इट इज रिटर्न सो इन हिंदी मराठी संस्कृत नेपाली there is one to one correspondence between letters and their sounds but in the languages english french etc rules of correspondence between letters and their sounds are complex and irregular so in such languages for correct pronunciation we resort to the international phonetic alphabet okay raje so in this paragraph it is explained that jo hindi marathi and sanskrit aur nepali languages hai दे आर स्पोकन द वे दे आर रिटर्न ओके जैसे वो लिखी हुई होती हैं वी हैव टू स्पीक दैम द सेम वे बट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट नाउ दिस वर्ड ऑनली विच आई हैव टेकन अगर मैं यहाँ पे किसी हिंदी के वर्ड की एग्जाम्पल लू जैसे सपोज पुस्तक ओके now here whatever is written all the letters i have to speak i am using all the letters i am using all the sounds here but as i have taken the example of no here it is written like k n o w but it is not spoken the same way as it is written there is a difference okay so this language is raje very transparent the way it is written we have to speak it the same way pustak kitab पढ़ाई कुछ भी अगर मैं लिख रही हूँ तो वो एज इट इज आई हैव टू स्पीक बट इन केस ऑफ इंग्लिश देर आर मेनी सच लेटर्स और वर्ड्स विच आर नॉट प्रोनाउंस द सेम वे एज दे आर रिटर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस सी यू टी पी यू टी नाउ हेयर यू कट बट हेयर इट इज प्रोनाउंस लाइक पुट ओके सो 
the ways are different okay so understand this difference understood okay now come here the uh, this part ipa has 44 symbols denoting 44 distinct sounds that's why we have ipa here uh, depending upon the letters uh, depending upon the different sounds the words are pronounced in different ways so we have 44 distinct sounds according to ipa out of these 20 are vowels and 24 are the consonant sounds okay so the ipa is a special phonetic script it's a special phonetic script in which there is one to one correspondence between the sounds and symbols so jitni bhi sounds hain unke utne hi symbols hain okay so for vowels we have 20 uh, uh, number and for consonants we have 24 number okay so rajay that is it for this video rest we will discuss in the next video rest part of the chapter so you please watch this video and try to understand this chapter carefully okay then uh, uh, we will continue in our next video till then bye bye take care have a good day